Hey gang, this is the outside. Welcome back to another video. Back on the river today, and it is hot. So a bit slow to get going. Long story short, had an ultra running event late in the week, and it's now on a Sunday. Actually, not busy. Though. I'm pretty wrapped that there's no one here. This is a spot I haven't got up to for a little while, so hoping it's not too bad. The water sounds good. Haven't had a look yet. There's been a lot of people just swimming over there and things like that. So. We'll give it a really good look and see how it goes, but I'm gonna carry two rods today. I won't mess, won't mess around too much yabbering. We'll see if we can get into the fish. First rod is obviously dry fly rod. We'll see if we can bring a few up. I'm not gonna run a dropper on it at all. So we go straight dry. Second rod, obviously double nymphing. So I'll try and remember how to actually carry two rods while I'm doing this stuff, which can be challenging and can be pretty funny. And we'll see how we go. Let's give it a nudge. Keep an eye on the back house. A little bit less flow up here. Let's just probe it. Watch those trees though. All right. On the board with the small fish. Very, oh, might not be that small. Absolutely staying rolled it. Although the current is so strong, pretty hard to get a feel for how big the fish might be. But anyway. Point fly. Oh dear. We're not done yet. That current is so strong once they pass you. Very difficult. That's it. There we go. In the net. Okay. Off to a nice little start. The bead should fall out. Not easily. There we go. Absolutely engulfed it. Okay. 
throw it back in the middle of that. There we go. Beautiful little heron partridge caught trout. Back you go, buddy. Fly straight out, there we go, nice little brown. And get ready. Off he goes. Another one. Just on the nice little edge there. And the top one, again. Top that up? I think so. I'm not as bad at that. Yep, definitely on the top one. Kill. Ah, little buddy, where are you? Here he goes. Back into it. Oh, that's a better fish. specific about what he wants. He may eat it. He did not even look twice. Interesting. What you gotta do is be a little bit patient and they show up again. Right. A little tacker, but they're all great fish. Successful for today. Look at that. There you go, bang. There you go. We definitely have a favourite fly today. So it was a bit of an update. I did a bit of changing. I tried a little bit of dry fly, a bit of dry dropper. Now I'm back on the nymph because the water suits it. And yeah, they're really loving the nymphs at the moment. Heron partridge seems to be the winner, but the smaller fish are taking my dropper fly, which is kind of like a claret sort of a nymph with a green bead. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, we'll keep pressing on. It's going well. It's still warm, but we're finding fish. So let's keep doing it. Oh, that's a better fish, I think. Oh, he's fighting like a dog. And, oh, yeah, that's a much better fish. Much better fish. We like those ones. Oh, oh fantastic. Ooh, I might bring him around into this quiet water because that's actually 
a nice fish and I have downgraded my leader material after that last bit of a mess I got myself into. Ooh, yeah. It's keeping up. Whoa. I think I got a bit ahead of myself getting that net out. He is a, a very nice little river trout. No doubt about that. Get him into this backwater. Trying to keep clear of the trees and try and keep clear of my other rod. That's going to be the challenge here. Yeah, point fly. It is a nice fly. The old heron partridge never let you down. That there is a very nice northeast brown trout. Alright, let's have a look what we've got here. Okay. Just trickle that fly free if we can. The net as well, okay. There we go. It should just slot out because it's got no barbs. I say it every time, but uh, just don't know why you'd bother to fish with barbed flies. Alright, let's have a bit of look at him. What a beautiful little river trout. Absolute ripper sitting right in the nice water. Off you go, buddy. Cool. Off he goes. So time to hit the road, just short and sharp for me through the middle of the day today. It was pretty warm, to be honest, and the middle hours of the day saw a few fish getting around. Caught on pretty much every method. Had some on the top, some on the dropper, and on the nymph rod, both the point fly and the dropper fly. A few different flies used. Small little claret nymph that I tie, one with a green bead, and one with a, I think it was a pink bead or a bronze bead, can't exactly recall. And then on the point, every time, was the heron partridge really didn't miss. So it was a good couple of hours, managed to pull a few fish, probably managed to get a couple on the film. I think I had a battery die which didn't help, probably thought I was recording and I wasn't. Hope you've enjoyed this little session on a nice hot summer's day and all the different methods I was trying. Once again a bit of a reminder if you like the videos you're seeing hit that thumbs up below and consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like. I'll keep making them because I enjoy doing it so hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing and you're getting a little bit out of it. And even if it's just something to watch in the background, I'm happy with that too. I really hope your fly fishing is going great. Hope you had a great spring and I hope the summer's treating you really well. As always, keep fishing, stay happy, and I'll see you on the outside.